Good morning, my friends. It's Tuesday, October 31st. It is Halloween, or in the church, the real word is All Hallows' Eve, the eve before All Saints' Day, when we celebrate and actually get a little scared about the people that have died. <laughs> it's a fun holiday, and it's a chance to laugh into the darkness, and I hope you'll enjoy it tonight. And I have with me this mosaic, which is a um, depiction of Mary in her early days. It is a mosaic from the 14th century from the monastic church of Chora in Istanbul, which has now become a museum. It is a wonderful thing to think of Mary's mother. Mary is, has her arms outstretched as he's walking towards her mother and her mother's open arms waiting to embrace her daughter. Mary being such a wonderful mother must have had a wonderful mother. We don't talk much about Mary's mother. She is one of those silent witnesses in scripture. And we're grateful for her and for all mothers. All mothers who love their children for all time and forevermore. Those whose children are healthy and here, those whose children are ill, and those whose children have gone on ahead of them. All mothers we give thanks for them. This morning we are back in the book of Ezra, where we see the familiar voices of Haggai, the prophet, and Zechariah, who we were just in yesterday. They're there as the temple is being rebuilt and they're helping. They're talking about how this is God's will and everyone's getting excited. And some of the officials from Darius's court, the king of Persia, come and they say, what are you doing? And the people are very open. They say, look, we are rebuilding the temple. Years and years ago, our king built a beautiful temple, but we displeased God and we were exiled to Babylon. But your father, King Cyrus, he granted us permission to rebuild the temple. So the officials write to Darius and say, is this true? Um, we're going to look in the archives to make sure that uh, Cyrus really did give permission for these people to rebuild the temple. But this is a wonderful thing. The people of Jerusalem are open. They're telling the truth. They're not hiding anything, and they're being devoted to God. And when the authorities come to question them, they have nothing to hide. It is a good thing to practice telling the truth. Because when we lie or fib, we create a mess for ourselves, and often we can't climb out of it. They were doing what they said they were going to do in the scripture today. And when the authorities bear down upon them, they have nothing to hide. Live your life in such a way that you have nothing to hide, so that when people come and ask you about your life, you can tell the truth. And in this way, you can be set free to focus on what you're doing and not on what you've said that may not be correct. Don't dig a hole with lies, but live freely with the truth. Let us pray. Almighty God, we ask that you would give us guidance today, Lord. In this troubled world, show us where you would have us to serve whether it be a word of kindness, the giving of our resources, a simple phone call, or time with a loved one. Show us your will today, Lord, how we can rebuild the temple. We ask that you would bring peace to this whole world, peace to the Middle East, peace to Ukraine and all the troubled areas of the world, peace to our own streets. We ask that you would help us to care for the human race, to end hunger, homelessness, poverty. We ask that you would give us a reverence for this beautiful earth that you've given us, that we may learn to use its resources wisely and in the service of others. We give you thanks for the gift of our lives, and we ask that you would bless the sick, the suffering, the lonely, those who have been affected by trauma, or violence, those who mourn or grieve. Bring us all to an awareness of the abundance of your grace, 
that we might live our lives in your service. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. God bless you. Have a great day.